Hey everybody, welcome to Ken Knows Gambling. And uh, today I'm going to do two videos. I'm going to give you a twofer. Uh, but uh, this one is going to be the outcome of the NCAA football that we did yesterday. We're going to talk about uh, what I put out, all the different opportunities, the outcomes, the good, bad, and the ugly. And then later on today, I'm going to do my Crappy Monday, except I'm going to change the name to Crappy Sunday, because I'm always doing those videos on Sunday evening. I ended up dropping them still on Sunday, so I thought, why just not call it Crappy Sunday? That way, they'll drop on Sunday, and all is good. So, anyway, it was our first... Um, well, it wasn't our first uh, college picks or anything, because we've, we've already been into college now for some time. Excuse me there. Um, but I wanted to go over... There we go. Ah, sorry. I wanted to go over a little bit about what happened. It was mostly positive. There's no question about it. If, if you bet on most of my stuff, one way or the other, you would have had a good outcome, okay? So I sort of wanted to go over the how I structure the opportunities that I give you because sometimes I give you money line, over and unders, point spread, and then I can tell you whether to buy up or buy down. So we had a lot of those opportunities going on. So let's, let's just go over uh, what happened. So yesterday, between my money line that I... I bet on, and I bet on a whole lot more than just that money line I gave you, but that was a, a money line I wanted to give you that I'm just saying, yeah, you can bet this one, because I am. Uh, even though I do a lot more stuff, I don't have room on that damn channel to, to, to go over everything that I do. But nonetheless, we did that four-team money line, and we won it. All four money line teams won. So I think we won about 90 bucks for a $100 bet, something like that. But nonetheless, it's a win. We are now, we, as my betting community, we're 4-0 uh, as far as money line parlay. So that's a good thing. Uh, I gave out, with those four uh, money line uh, bets, and I only count that as one win, but uh, I gave out seven money line opportunities. Okay, seven money line opportunities. On the money line, we went six and one. The only person to screw us was USC last night, the rat dogs that they are, uh, but still six and one. So, you know, you could have done multiple parlays between the four that, you know, that I, that I you know, put out there and, and the other ones. You'd have still won money as long as you didn't bet on USC. If you bet on USC, and by the way, I did not in any of my betting parlays, I didn't bet on USC, good for me, uh, any other mix and match combination, you would have been fine. So we're 4-0 uh, in Moneyline parlays, all right? The next thing I gave out was over and unders. Didn't really do so well with my over and unders. I gave out four different opportunities for over and unders. We went two and two. Uh, so, eh, you know, we evened out. It could have been worse. On the spread, I only gave one, uh, Coastal Carolina. And uh, I think it was a minus 25. And then I shared with you, you know, go ahead and, and buy it, you know, buy it down, you know, maybe to 24, 23. We didn't need to, but Lord, barely because it was 26, we went over, uh, I'm sorry, it was minus 25, They're, to win by 25, they won by 26, it's a lot of reasons I buy up or down, but nonetheless, we won that, and then uh, I gave you five buy opportunities, so whether it was a point spread, buy it down, over and unders, buy it up or down, there was actually five opportunities, Three of them, I know two of them just would lost all, all together, uh, which is those over and unders. 
when I went two and two on that, it wouldn't have mattered if you bought up, down, wouldn't have mattered. Uh, but three of them worked out. So you either needed the points, almost needed the points or whatnot, but we won those. So I'm buying opportunities three and two. So, so total, not counting the buying opportunities, but counting the opportunities, just that an opportunity. You could bet that way, not bet that way. Uh, we were nine and three yesterday. Nine and three. Um, and then, of course, we won the the uh, the 14 parlay to go 4 0. So, overall, uh, for a day, it was a profitable day. And uh, I sort of wanted to maybe ask you uh, you know, now that some of you guys got to go over to the site. Uh, if you haven't, KenKnowsGambling.com, and sort of look at how I structured that. Is it too complicated? Is it is it is it not enough? Is there some tweaks? Nobody's commented about it at all, so I'm going to assume uh, everybody's okay with it. Uh, but still, if it can be tweaked better for everybody, and that's what I'm all about. It's a community. If I could if I could tweak it better for everybody then I will. I've got no problem with that. Hey, listen, <laughs> my ego ain't that damn big. I'm pretty big guy, but my ego is just not. So I, I'm willing to do what it is as, as a collective thing. And uh, also, <laughs> I had a fella, he emailed me a couple times because in my money line, and I guess I, I do need to explain this a little bit. In my money line, I had Michigan. Now, the point spread was only seven. And generally, in a money line, I, I want to go above that. Uh, there were no superpowers. Uh, there, I mean, to get the cost right where you can actually make some money, you sort of got to stick in the power versus dog and not necessarily the superpower. Now, there will be times I'm going to string some superpowers. It's just I'm going to do it differently, and we'll get into that. But uh, uh, he said... He said, I, I'm sorry, man, I, for, I, I forgot your name, but it was it was good. It was a good back and forth. He was like, you meant to say Michigan State, didn't you? Because they were more of a power versus dog. And I go, no, no, I meant to say Michigan on this one. And maybe I got people confused, you know, when I was on my board that one day. And I'm talking about, you know, don't pick anybody unless they're 17, 18 point, you know, favored and, it's just, it's just not always the case. So in this case, I guess he had a question, why are you fishing, uh, picking Michigan? And then I think I responded back to him. I says, A, they're going to win the game. So I really believe they're going to beat Washington. And B, because they're playing in the big house. And, uh, and University of Michigan, even if they're having so-so seasons, they're pretty damn strong in the big house. Uh, I'm originally from Michigan, but it's not, you know, I'm not betting on them because, oh, they're my favorite team because that goes against everything I teach. It's just football, and uh, I know the U of M. So I thought they'd win. They're playing at home. That's why I took them. And, but also I told him, and I'm going to go ahead and tell everybody here too, you know, if I give you a parlay, like I may give you eight, nine different ways to play, and then I have Ken's pick. All right, let's say that, let's just use the four-teamer for yesterday that we won. And some of them just squeaked it, too. Now, Notre Dame, uh, there was a couple of them that I'd shoot. My butt was puckering, believe me. But it, it, it came out the way I wanted it to go. But let's just say, we'll take yesterday, and we'll use the Michigan one as the example. And by the way, they won by more than seven. Uh, I was never too worried about Michigan. Uh but let's just say you didn't want Michigan. But see, I gave you seven or eight different money line plays or Coastal Carolinas or whatever I gave you. Feel free to take one out and plug another one in. There, no harm and foul in that. I mean, if I give you those plays like I did, and oh, by the way, I gave the Coastal Carolina minus 25, and I said you could buy it down. They, they're the ones that that one by 26. Uh, I gave the Illinois-Virginia 
over 55. They won. Uh, Michigan State was the money line. They won. I did lose on South Carolina and East Carolina over 56. They didn't even get close. And buying at that moment wouldn't have freaking helped. Uh, Appalachian State and Miami, I thought I thought it would just be a higher scoring game than that. So buying up or down wouldn't have helped. Uh, Kentucky won on my money line. Uh, Colorado State and Bandy did indeed go under 50 and a half points. Didn't have to really buy that down. USC screwed us on the uh, on the money line. But let's just say Michigan. You didn't want Michigan. Other than USC, you could have plugged any one of those into that parlay. And you'd have still won. You'd have been fine. That's the beauty of what I'm trying to do. Here's my concept. Here's what I'm doing. But it's tweakable. That's why I'm putting all these different opportunities in there for you. Or you could take Michigan out and do a three-teamer. Now, it might have been 100 for 40 bucks. You'd drop that way, but still doable. And if you'd have done that, you'd have won that too. Okay? So, anyway, that's what happened yesterday. That's sort of my uh, uh, metrics if you will, on what happened yesterday. So we actually did really, really well. Uh, I'm really proud of that 4-0 money line uh, parlay, 4-0. We're going to win a lot of those, y'all. We just are. Get used to it. Hey, get used to winning parlays. Get used to them. Now, am I going to lose one? You know, yeah, I'm going to. Sooner or later, I'm going to lose one. But it's okay. We'll win more money than we lose. And that's the whole game anyway. But anyway, that's it for this this uh, this thing. I just wanted to do a quick uh, NCAAF uh, countdown. Uh, give me a comment. Share with me. If you've got any thoughts, tweaks on this, again, I'm open for it, okay? Now, uh, later on today, I'm going to do Crappy Sunday. Again, I'm changing the name. And this is going to be my second best and safest way uh, to play, except this time I'm going to come in with about 2100 bucks, and I'm going to attack this thing uh, all within my concept. Everything is still, I'm not adding or subtracting. We're, I'm just going to attack it. I'm going to show you what you can do if you have a bigger bankroll. If you have a bigger bankroll. Okay. I happen to have one where I can do it, but whatever I do, you can still bring it down to your bankroll. I mean, uh, it didn't, I didn't get the bankroll that I have overnight, believe me, uh, it's built up over years. But anyway, that's going to come up later on, uh, this evening. I'll probably drop it, you know, eight, nine, ten o'clock, uh, tonight. So you get two today, this one and one more. Uh, anyway, Hey, listen, if you like this, give me the thumbs up and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know what to do. Uh, but as always, the best thing you can do with me is share this video. Share this video to anybody that you know, uh, stuff like this oil. Okay? So we'll see you here in a few hours on my, uh, on my crappy Sunday. Until then, be great.